Hi, Sagittarius. It's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a reading, Sagittarius, that is, uh, looks like a bomb reading. It does. Because we see enlightenment, we see resolution. All is possible in the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. We do have conflict family at the end of that spread, right? Yeah. So before we get into it, Sagittarius, uh, I would like to let you know, we have a free five minute psychic reading for you with mystic sense, right? You can go click on the link below in the description box and, you know, see all about their mystic sense. Yeah. If you would like a reading with me, please see the about tab. And I have various readings going on. I still have the promotional video. It's a 30 minute video link. It's a private link, of course. And then we have a video chat readings where we can see each other with, you know, FaceTime or Telegram or, you know, whatever we choose to use. And, um, yeah, add any psychic reading, uh, is $35 right now. Those are done on the phone. I need the name, the age and the city of residence for that person. Yeah. So let's get into it, Sagittarius. And they have been accurate. Yes, they have. I am patting myself on the back. Can you guys hear that? Yeah, totally. But you know, I'm also a silver grad and they teach you, they teach you to hone your psychic gifts. So let's get into it here. We start with the six of swords. Uh, yeah. And this is resolution. So, you know, a resolution is, or a solution, however you want to write a resolution has more to do with an agreement. A solution has more to do with sometimes like, um, maybe something scientific possibly, but a resolution has more to do with words or people or a situation that is now resolved, right? Solved is more of a problem, right? Yeah. And so we also have all is possible choosing your path in the flow enlightenment, right? So somebody has been enlightened and that's why everything is smooth sailing. Once you awaken to your gifts and, uh, you know, your psychic gifts and your intuitive and your higher consciousness, basically. Yeah. The psychic comes sometimes a little later. It might come to you first, maybe, right? With synchronicities, with dreams, things like that, or with predictions like, oh, I know that person's coming around, right? It's kind of, that's a psychic prediction, but, uh, you know, usually you wake up first, but Hey, it could go either way. Right. And, uh, somebody has been enlightened here. They have, and it has put them in their flow where they think everything is smooth. Now that's how it is. Yeah. You're not worried about doubts and fears and feeling limited. Yeah, you're not. And, uh, they are now all is possible. So they are choosing another path, I believe. Right. Here's this man setting out on his new path. He is, and, uh, but we have conflict and family. There's so could be somebody breaking up here. Maybe, uh, there is a, a solution or a resolution to a conflict that was involving a family. It depends, right? There could be a breakup here because somebody has been enlightened and it's like their life resolution is, is in front of them. Like, okay, I'm going to fix my life now because I've been enlightened and I know what, what I need in my life. And I know what I'm supposed, where I'm supposed to be like in the flow, right? We have death too, Sagittarius. Yeah, we do. And that is your person's card and that's transformation. We're going to talk about that a little bit later and let's get into it. And I hope everybody is doing well. Yeah, of course. Right. And happy summer. And today is the first warm day here. And I live in a place where it starts to get warm in April, sometimes as early as March. And we're almost in, uh, July and, uh, uh, but they say it's, you know, the earth is hot. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. This is the second hot, uh, uh, cold, sorry guys, cold, cold summer. It is today. This is colder than last year. So, you know, don't believe everything you hear, see in the mainstream, right? That is a group think and mindful. And how do you know if it's true? Right. Yeah. None of us know unless we are really scientists. Uh, they have tried to silence a lot of sci scientists. So with that being said, yeah, let's get started. Let's see what we have Sagittarius. We have the five of wands. Oh, we do queen of wands strength card. These are heavy cards. The emperor, they are the hanged man. OMG. We have three majors and a core card. We have four majors now because the lovers are here. 
And they showed up undressed for a reason, Sagittarius, right? They're not, trying, they're not really trying to make a statement like, you know, everybody who dresses a certain way. They're not trying to make a statement. They're trying to make love. Like, they want to be ready. <laughs> they want to be like, yeah, they want to be like on it. Like, hey, I don't want to have to go home and I don't want to go anywhere and change or, or, you know, or have a good place to set my clothes down, right? I don't want them to get dirty. So let me come prepared. Page of Wands. Oh, uh, we have... The sun card with the undressed child, right? It's a baby. He's like an older toddler here. And, you know, this is the olden days. It says, this is art, right? Yeah, it is. And we have uh, the Wheel of Fortune. We also have Sagittarius. And the outcome is the Three of Cups. And uh, for me, there's a resolution here. This is the overall energy for one of you, right? And it's for both. There's going to be a resolution here. For somebody out there in Sagittarius land and beyond, because this is not just for Sagittarius. No, don't watch this just, just simply because you're a Sagittarius. Watch this because you feel like it resonates. Yeah, this is when you watch it, right? You don't. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, how many majors? Two, three, four, five, six majors. So uh, it's a major reading, of course, right? If we see the pattern. And uh, I feel like there is a reconciliation here. But you are feeling challenged, Sagittarius, with the Five of Wands, or this person is. Sometimes this is their reading. Sometimes it is. There's nothing they could do about that, right? Yeah. And the Queen of Cups is here. Somebody has courage here for a resolution and to move forward in their life. Yeah, to, to end a conflict. The conflict could be with somebody else. It could be an inward conflict, right? Because we have conflict next to enlightenment. And once you are enlightened, you don't have any conflicts. I'm not saying you never ever have a bad day. No, we're not saying that. But for the most part, uh, you're in control of your thoughts and you realize your powers and you're not like swayed by every little thing you see or hear or you know, or if you kind of start to get down, you tell yourself, hey, knock that off. Yeah, I'm not doing that today, right? Yeah. Let's look at the strength card. Let's see why that's there. This is courage. And the death card's reversed. And your person has the death card over there. They do. I didn't show it because I usually show them at the end, right? But uh, you don't want something to end, Sagittarius. And you either you need courage here or you have it or you want your person to have courage. And we know courage is important because here's the emperor. And he step, takes his power. He steps into his power and says, I'm going to resolve whatever problem there is. I'm going to create order and structure. And the hanged man is here. This is what's on your mind. So this definitely could be enlightenment because the hanged man is an enlightened. Basically, he's all about being enlightened. He has this little halo here and uh, he knows what's up, right? Yeah, he does entirely. Uh, he's a spiritual being and he knows that. This is why he's able to hang himself up there and not choke because he's very enlightened here. Basically, it's trying to show you the strength of somebody who is enlightened, right? He's in the reverse, though. Yeah, he is. But it is a very spiritual card because it is about enlightenment or epiphany. It's also about a sacrifice. It's, t it's interesting how with every enlightenment that you have, or, you know, there's not so many, basically. No, there's not. But, you know, there's usually one major one. But I'm saying when you are enlightened, there's always a sacrifice. You could be leaving things behind that no longer are, like, uh, conducive or vibing with your, your newly higher consciousness. You're like, well, I'm not on the same page as that person anymore. That person is kind of stuck. I'm not, or you don't even have to say that about that person. You just say that you have moved and uh, you are in your higher consciousness now. It is a place of power, wisdom, and uh, and growth. That's where it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. And security. There's always security in like meditation and uh, connecting to your psychic energy because you, once you realize you are a divine being, Stuff that happens, you're like, well, you just don't get so shook up over stuff. No, you don't. And here, Cap uh, Sagittarius, you are, uh, you're in the five of wands energy, though, so you're pretty shook up. You could be. You Maybe you're fighting with somebody because you don't want to end something, but 
I feel like you feel challenged probably. Here is the Page of Pentacles reversed. You feel challenged maybe because uh, you're waiting for them to come talk to you maybe with the page. Or uh, it's possible, you know, that uh, maybe you want something to end too. You might. You might want something to end. This death card could be about an ending that is pending, right? Yeah. Could, or that you want it to just happen possibly. And why do you have the emperor Sagittarius with the devil reversed? We're just going to cover him because, you know, I don't know. They might say that that's not, it's not, you know, virtuous, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you'd be saying virtuous what a joke <laughs> and uh yeah somebody told me that i was i was i was uh yeah i was at a a walk a long time ago when people were trying to stand up for their for their liberties yeah and uh this guy he goes yeah they always paint it like they want things to be virtuous but really they're just taking away your they're guilting people and taking away your stuff yeah taking away your your choices yeah your choices about everything yeah i mean major choices i don't mean like yeah so here we have the high pre the uh the hanged man sagittarius but let's look at the devil because he is in the reverse with the emperor first in the past somebody left this devil energy they said screw this i'm leaving the restriction and the bondage and i'm stepping into my power that's what happened in the past and with that stepping into the power and this enlightenment comes a resolution. Yeah. Your mindset is the hanged man with judgment. Now we know they're not dressed with judgment because they just got out of the coffin. So, you know, not about virtue here, right? <laughs> it's about, right? It's about rising up from the dead. And this is your mindset here. You're hoping this person has either sacrificed somebody or they have been enlightened and they're going to, uh, you're going to have a rebirth with them. I'm pretty sure here now, you know, I'm not sure who has gone through this awakening here because we know there is one with enlightenment, right? Yeah, we know. And, uh, judgment is also a very spiritual card. Whenever we see the angel show up, right? It's spiritual, of course, in a good way. Uh, but you know, judgment is a decision as well. It's a judgment made sometimes, although, you know, God or the universe is, you know, the only one that can really make a uh, judgment here. Otherwise, you know, you have corruption and propaganda and all this other stuff, right? Yeah, you do. Or you just have somebody who's jaded, who's sitting there and maybe, you know, maybe you go to court and, you know, uh, you happen to be, you know, being sued for something and you look like just some, like another criminal that is, you know, a real criminal, right? <laughs> it's not looking good for you, right? When you go to court, but you know, here, Sagittarius, uh, I feel like you're hoping for a rebirth. I feel like you are. This is what's on your mind. Maybe you're the one sacrificing something because there is a sacrifice when we see conflict. And I think there is here in this reading. Yeah. And, um, mm -hmm. maybe not, but, uh, definitely there's an enlightenment and all is possible now for this to come to light, for this to come to fruition because we have courage. We have enlightenment. We have judgment. Maybe you want forgiveness. That could be it here with judgment. Judgment is, a, it's also an awakening. It means a whole bunch of stuff. It does. It could mean a things. It could mean Scorpio. Here we have the lovers and, you know, of course, you know, they are the true lovers are not dressed, right? Mm-hmm. And they said, look, Sagittarius, I've been doing barbells, right? <laughs> they could, right? But, you know, here in the near future, this is your lover's coming. That's what it is. Your lover is coming based on a choice that's already been made. Because somebody here chose their path, choosing your path, all is possible. Somebody's in their flow. Yeah, they're in their flow. It's really important to be in your flow. Yeah, that's why sometimes working too hard is you just, you just get off of your flow a little bit because you're just, bam, I got to do that, 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 right? Or you get off your flow, maybe just, you know, by turning on the tube because you're seeing all this, these lies and negativity and fear mongering and stuff like that. You can get off your flow in many ways, but the major flow is through enlightenment. It is right. Yeah. And through, you know, having a drink, just kidding, Sagittarius, right? It's not really through, through that. Here's a page of wands in your concern. This is a new, it's a new path or a new direction. It can be a renewal 
in this reading it darn looks like one you have the eight of swords in your concern so you feel like you want to be released from this or you want them to release somebody here because you want this new path this is about courage making a choice that's been made i believe a while ago i'm pretty sure it looks like it just hasn't been executed because enlightenment doesn't happen in one day, right? You don't wake up, you know, you just got off the toilet seat and you said, I feel enlightened. It really doesn't work like that. If it does, send me some comments, all right? <laughs> but, you know, uh, it does, it can creep up on you, definitely. Uh, it can. It usually puts you through something difficult or makes you feel really funny. So this is what I mean, like strange, right? Or difficult, or maybe you even suffered the dark night, but... It's usually not, you know, you just get up from, you know, tinkling or whatever. If you're a woman, you're going to tinkle, I suppose. But you're getting up from the pot and you go, I'm enlightened. Woo. Wow. Now, right. Let me you really fly to faraway places and manifest everything I want. It usually doesn't happen like that, right? That's uh, more of like in the movies, right? Yeah. Where you make a wish and the genie shows up or the pot of gold is at the end of the rainbow. That's how it used to be, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. That was, you know, for kids to make uh, to make wishes, and, you know, and so uh, over the rainbow was the end of, kind of the end of the, uh, the journey or whatever, and there was the pot of gold, right? Kind of like the empress a little bit. Uh, let's look at the sun card, and this is in your environment, Sagittarius, and you have it with the nine of pentacles. Somebody is coming to you with a red like a red flag. Here they are. Here's the child rather with the red flag on the sun card. Somebody's coming to enlighten you here with some like of like a, it's like a, a, a notice like, Hey, I'm single. You're going to be like, what? Yeah. This person's bringing you. It's a huge red flag. Like this person was with somebody. Most likely the conflict in the family is a marriage. They're single in your environment they're coming they're bringing you this news and it's going to be like like an epiphany but it's going to be more like like wow yeah like shocking this is a shocking illumination coming to you and they want their flow their flow is with you they want it and here's the uh, the, the, uh, excuse me, the wheel of fortune with the king of wands here. Here you are looking stubborn, Sagittarius. I don't know if you're stubborn, but, uh, you probably, you know, it may not be. The Sagittarians are not necessarily known for that, but you know, uh, he just, this is his look on his face here, right? Yeah. But I'm saying here that in your hopes and desires, this person's your, this person is to you fate and destiny. You want divine timing and change, divine. That's what you want here. You think this is like divine this time. It's divine timing. Here is the, the hierophant. You want to marry this person or you want them to believe that you are fate and destiny. I'll take the second ones. Fine. More important, right? Then you'll do whatever I want, right? Sagittarius. <laughs> the three of cups shows up in the outcome. We'll get a card here and we have the eight of cups with it. See, somebody's walking away from something for... Uh, a reunion with you, a reconciliation. You're going to reconcile, Sagittarius. And reconciling usually means something has been fixed or something, an agreement, uh, a disagreement has been like reconciled. So maybe there was something to reconcile here. Uh, you're in the five of wands energy to start the reading. So there could have been here. There could have been too many people, a third party. You may have been the third party, right? But now you're going to be the queen or the king. You are, right? But you're not going to be a, a dictator, Sagittarius. You're not, all right? Do you guys know what I mean? Yeah, we're going to end this reading. We have the extended in the uh, description box. Thanks so much for joining me here, you guys. Yeah, and they're all super affordable. Your person's extended is uh, a tarot spread. It is also an oracle spread. Let's get one oracle card for your person, Sagittarius. Yeah. Uh, oh, here they are. Okay, I did pull them ahead. I, I didn't remember. Last time I just, I didn't pull any. Your person's first card is the chariot. Yeah. And uh, let's see what they say about that. They call that the seven of swords. Now, the seven of swords can be seen as an escape. So they are escaping with their horse and carriage. And they're real happy. 
right yeah and let's see what they say about that card the chariot yeah seven of swords and this is assertion coachman in a horse-drawn carriage are in control and know where they're going your person's coming to you to tell you that they know that they really want to be with you and they're going to be assertive right hopefully not pushy Sagittarius we don't like pushy people no we don't and uh we also have the queen of spades here she's known as the queen of swords uh, in you know in the regular tradition let's look at that and this is perception and this is ann elliott of persuasion is smart and insightful and she values a good conversation more than anything this is supporting your person this perception they see you they know what they want and they this perception this like this insight and them being able to see what's important to them and what they need here yeah uh, well, maybe you're a friend here to them and they love this good conversation with you. It could definitely be conversation is important, right? Did you ever have a long-term relationship with somebody that you don't really talk too much? No. If you did, well, I feel bad for that, right? So, you know, here, Sagittarius, but the Queen of Swords here, uh, this is perception. So we have assertion and perception. Your person, they've seen the light. They've been enlightened here. They know that they love you and they know that they enjoy you yeah they know this here and they know that they are you guys are good together like they're they're considering you a friend maybe a good conversationalist could definitely be uh yeah definitely and why it's all happening for them is transformation and this is death but uh this is uh, a different kind of card yeah she's dressed but let's cover her a little bit because she's kind of transparent here and you know this is transformation this this is all changing now your person was seeing things in a different way with the perception card. It sits in the supporting and the challenging energy. So here they were seeing things, uh, seeing, not seeing you for who you were. And here they are in their chariot coming, asserting themselves, telling you I've changed how I think about everything. Here's the transformation to prove it. And I want to change things between us. I want a new beginning with you. And they're ending something else. They are. We're going to end this reading and we're going to go to their their reading Sagittarius I think I said they're all affordable the link is below in the description box thank you so much you guys for joining me God bless please remember to like share and subscribe